So as the title suggests, we're going to stew up some oxtail. So I've got about a half a kilo of oxtail here that I'm going to throw into the bottom of a pot. I'm going to throw in about a cup of water. I'm going to throw that onto medium heat. Cover it partially using a spoon to crack the lid open, letting out some of the steam. And I'm going to cook it until the water evaporates. Once the water's all evaporated, I'm going to throw in some oil. I'm going to dice up an onion. And throw that in as well. And I'm going to sweat out the onion. Make sure that it gets under the meat and comes in contact with the pot. Once the onions are translucent and the meat has a little bit of browning on it, we're going to throw in a few cloves of minced garlic. A little bit of peeled and minced ginger. I like to smash it first to help along the mincing process. And one habanero chili. Good thing I have these gloves handy for, um, you know, the current times. Throw those guys in, give them a quick little saute. Then we're gonna throw in a few diced tomatoes. You can also use canned crushed tomatoes. I've got some roasted plain peanuts uh, that I'm gonna throw in. You can also use raw unsalted peanuts, but I would boil them ahead of time um, just to get some of the grassy flavor out of them. It can be quite strong. Let's go ahead and cover this up with about a liter of water. I'm gonna season thoroughly with salt. And now I'm gonna cover it up and let it go for at least two hours. Uh, I actually went for three hours. Basically you want the oxtail to be tender and you want all the liquid to be reduced into a thick sauce. So keep stirring along the way, adding water if necessary, but for me, that was the perfect amount. And I ended up with something like this, a thick, hearty looking sauce. So the aroma that has been in this kitchen uh, for the past few hours, uh, if umami has a smell, this is it. The meat is so tender. As you can see, this is a spoon. Oh my God. There's this wild balance of sweetness and earthiness. You got the tomato and you've got the habanero, both lending this bright sweetness uh, as well as the peanuts and my mind jumps directly to peanut butter and jelly sandwich and the sort of like homey primal uh, sweet and savory combination this really foundational element i associate with <laughs> just good food so i really do hope you try this um you have no excuse not to it takes very few ingredients very little effort for such a good dish so i've got a link to the full recipe in the description below uh, and if you want to see something else that makes me really happy, uh, check out this video where I show you how to make Szechuan-style braised pork. So good. See you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.